Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at the question of why are my stripes fuzzy in Illustrator. Before we begin, I have more Illustrator training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. I also have Illustrator training at udemy.com and there's a referral link for each of these courses in the description below. Please feel free to share these with family and friends. Let's swing back to Illustrator where I have a document with three different coloured stripes in it. Everything looks pretty good on the screen right now but let's go and try and save it. I'm going to save it as a JPEG using file and then export save for web legacy. Now it's a really small document, that's just fine. I want to zoom in so we can see it more clearly. Now I need to be really clear about this. This has got nothing to do with the fact that I'm using a legacy interface in Illustrate. It's got everything to do with the fact that these stripes are fuzzy for a really good reason that I'm going to explain in just a minute. Here the green stripe, you can see along the edge of it that there's white here which is the background, then we've got a lighter green and then the dark green that was that rectangle and same thing's happening on this side. Ditto with the orange one, it's got this sort of single line of pixels down the side that is obviously not the same colour as the remainder of the stripe but for the pink one it's really nice and neat. So if you're seeing this kind of result with fuzzy edges if you like to the edges of your shapes, this is what's causing it. When we go back to Illustrator and I click on this shape, let's have a look and see how big it is. It's 20.5 pixels wide. The problem is that 0.5 of a pixel because a pixel is the smallest quantity that we were going to save this document in. This document is 100 pixels wide and 60 pixels tall. So when I went to save it, I chose File, Export, Save for Web Legacy and I'm trying to save it at 100 pixels wide by 60 pixels tall. And so this particular shape here is 20.5 pixels and Illustrator can't cope with 0.5. You can't save half a pixel. So it has to make a decision about that half pixel. What am I going to do with it? Well, what I'm going to do with it is try and blend it in so that I get something between the white background and what that edge is. So it's giving a sort of anti-alias effect and that's exactly as it should be. It's just not working in our favor here. So while this shape is 20.5 pixels wide, it's also starting in an odd position. It's starting at 3.25 pixels. If we started it at 3.0 pixels, we're going to get a slightly different result here. So its edge here is starting at 3.5. Let's go back to export it and let's have a look at this leading edge for that shape. Now it's neat and tidy. The trailing edge has still got that anti-alias effect, but because we put it on a pixel, because we aligned it to the pixel grid, we're getting that sharp edge. The reason why we're getting this edge is because it's 0.5 of a pixel wide. Similar things happening here with the orange one. Its size probably and its position are going to require Illustrator to make some compromises. Well, its size is 20.25 and its starting position for its left edge here is 39.375. Again, we could solve that problem very easily. What we would do is make this a whole number. So we would start it at 40, for example. So I'm going to bring it down to 20 here. I'm just going to unlock the constrain options there because I don't want to adjust the height, I just want to adjust the width. So now we've got its left edge on a pixel grid. Its width is a full number of pixels. When we go to look at it, we're going to have removed all that anti-aliasing. And you can see clearly there's no anti-aliasing, no fuzzy edge to this orange stripe. And of course the pink stripe, we can assume that that's a whole number of pixels wide, which it is. We can also assume that its left edge, its leading edge here is on the pixel grid, which it is. It's placed at 75 pixels. And so if you're finding that you're getting fuzzy lines on things, watch out for alignment on the pixel grid and make sure that the shapes that you're using are whole numbers of pixels, not fractions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. 
Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.